one of the other stories coming out of WrestleMania weekend was the announcement that on Wednesday night, AEW, by way of the Young Bucks, were going to show the video from All In in London. We now have a rating for that show. Brought in 819,000 viewers to TBS, up 9% from last week's 752,000. It is the first time that AEW has been over 800,000 since February 28th, which was seven shows ago. In the 18 to 49 year old demographic, the rating was a 0 .30, up 30% from last week's 0 .23. This week's audience rating equates to 400,000 viewers. So that's actually a big victory for the show because the only audience the entire year that has been larger was on January 17th when they had 435,000. That was actually their high watermark show for the year. Uh, they had 891,000 that week. So that's been the biggest show of the year or so. Uh, it worked, at least in, in a short-term bump. I have not seen if WrestleNomics has posted the quarter hours yet. I would be fascinated to see how what it did, how what it spiked to, and then what it fell to. Because you got to figure that quarter probably had all of the attention in the world. So did it do 900000 and then the show fell off a cliff after that? We're going to find out. But just to give you an idea also on how they've been doing in that demo, the World's End pay-per-view go-home show uh, last December 27th did 408000 So that's, they've done the most since then, which was the last time, I guess you could say, that they've had the most interest in the product that was leading into MJF and Adam Cole revealing himself to be the devil. Show finished number three in the demo on cable TV for the evening, as it always does behind two NBA games. Rampage tonight on TNT with matches taped on Wednesday in Charleston. You got an AEW TBS open house match. Julia Hart defends the title against Layla Hirsch, who has not been seen on AEW TV since March of 2022. She's actually been, or she was at least, on a big singles match winning streak in Ring of Honor until she lost to Red Velvet in the quarterfinals of the ROH World Women's TV title tournament in February. Zack Knight is going to be making his AEW TV debut against Angelo Parker. Knight is the brother of Soraya, who's going to be at his side along with Harley Cameron. Orange Cassidy faces Alex Reynolds and Jay White. The artist formerly known as Jay White faces Matt Seidel. That New Japan, I'm, I was wrong. I was wrong about Jay White coming over to AEW, at least from the time that Juice Robinson has gotten hurt. And I was all for putting him with the guns. I liked the idea of Bullet Club. I liked all of that. And this is where we're at with Jay White right now. Kills me. Absolutely kills me. But it doesn't kill me as bad as Comcast right now. All the hard wiring is fine. But for like the third time this week, Comcast Business Internet which is costing me like 250 bucks a month or something like that with the taxes and the fees and the gimmicks and the this craptastic router that they gave me that I'm paying rent on right now too. It's like ridiculous. The Wi-Fi doesn't work. Everything hardwired, you know, the, 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 the gimmick box here to patch me into Brian's studio, which then patches in the sports byline, you know, the computer, that's all fine. But the Wi-Fi, once again, 250 bucks a month for what? That was my, my Bryant rant moment for today. Got a lot more to get into, including AEW Collision and Battle of the Belts. Did you know there was one of those this weekend? Got that coming up. WWE SmackDown tonight and so much more. Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi here with your Wrestling Observer Live. Still hate Xfinity. Still hate Comcast. Yes, I do. That's got nothing to do with the rest of the day. Everything else seems to be working fine. I won't jinx it. <sighs> so, WrestleTix today put out a estimate on the attendance situation for tomorrow's AEW Collision Show from the Truist Arena in Highland Heights, Kentucky. Highland Heights, Kentucky. The Truist Arena, 10,000-seat building on the campus of Northern Kentucky University. The current setup for the show, 2,086. Tickets distributed, 1,759. If you're wondering if there was an effect from the dynamite 
And the airing of the video, well, it's up 85 tickets since the last update three days ago. So with that said, if you're trying to spin this a little bit from the AEW side or from an AEW fan side, um, it doesn't seem like going to Northern Kentucky University uh, is a is a very beneficial place to go if you're a professional wrestling company. Um, well, I looked at Cage Match earlier today. I had to go back to 2016 and 2017 to find shows that actually took place at the campus, and it was two NXT house shows. July 2016 is estimated to, estimated to have done 1,500, and in May of 2017, an NXT house show did 900. So, this it's it may be another oh what seven years or so before you get another show over there in Highland Heights because you don't seem to be coming out for the wrestling. Certainly not coming out for this nationally televised very long night that is ahead of you tomorrow. Katsuyori Shibata against Lee Moriarty, a match on paper that if you are a if you're a Graps fan, if you're a wrestling fan of Matt Wrestling, if you're a Japanese wrestling fan, I have a feeling this is going to be a really good match. It's not one of those matches that's going to move the needle as far as ratings go or anything like that. But Shibata and Moriarty on paper, again, for a lot of people, that's a really cool match. The big thing they have announced thus far, the Blackpool Combat Club, Brian Danielson and Claudio will face off against the Don Callis family of Kyle Fletcher and Powerhouse Hobbs. They have announced for next Wednesday already that Will Ospreay will be facing off against Claudio in a match that, again, made a lot of people happy, made a lot of wrestling fans happy. That, I have a feeling, everything that's going to be around that match, that should be a little bit more of a needle mover. I hope it is for Will Ospreay. You know, it was, uh, it, was, it was definitely not afraid of the grind, you know, and definitely not holding a grudge about somebody saying possibly maybe him not being all about the grind. But, yeah, there you go. AEW World Women's Title Eliminator match also tonight. Timeless Tony Storm or Saturday night. Timeless Tony Storm against Azumi. Collision is back in its regular time slot Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. College basketball is out of the way, although we are closing in on the NBA and NHL playoff season. So that's going to move some things around uh, in the next two months on Fridays and Saturdays. AEW Battle of the Belts 10. I got to be honest, I have not been, I guess because of Mania Weekend and everything going on, I didn't even realize it was taking place until I was starting to get stuff ready for the show today. AEW International Title Eliminator match. Roderick Strong will face off against Rocky Romero. And an FTW title match, Hook, will face off against Shane Taylor. Which means we have the possibility of seeing Hook deliver a T-bone Tazplex to Shane Taylor. Which is going to be one hell of a visual. Miro will not be there. But he's on his way back. At least that's what he says. He is recovering from a shoulder and an elbow injury. We, we finally have some clarity on what's been going on with Miro. He said to Bill after this weekend during an interview at WrestleCon in Philadelphia that he got everything taken care of in January. He's been out of action since December of 2023, World's End, when he faced off against Andrade, sent him back and back to the WWE. There was a situation uh, right after that where Tony Khan had booked a Meat Madness match, which was going to include Miro and Keith Lee, but both guys were hurt <laughs> and out of action. And Khan decided to, to postpone the match until everybody was healthy again. Miro responded by saying, I've been injured since September and I got medical attention in January. Sorry he wasn't aware of it. You know, just to, again... It's been said many times, Tony Khan, if you're out of the way for whatever reason, uh, he will tend to forget about you and then will not talk to you and not keep you updated. So with that said, after did ask Miro about what it's like working with Tony Khan, and he says Tony's great, man. He's creative. His mind is always running. He always thinks about wrestling. He's always thinking about how to get things better. So I respect that. I respect that he loves wrestling. He did all his life. And now he's carried that to the second or one of the biggest companies in the world. So happy talk right now from Miro. 
We'll see about him coming back at some point down the line here. They could use him. You know, if his mind and his heart and his body is into it, if he's about it, you know, they can absolutely use him as a threat. Yes, things have not been good from the jump with him coming in wearing his pajama clothes or whatever it was, playing video games and whatnot. There have been some big up, ups and downs since then, but he's one of those guys I think that's got enough, even at this point, enough built up with the fans that they want to see this guy come back and lay waste to somebody. So hopefully he can come back sooner rather than later because, again, they can just use all of the little bursts of energy that they can get. So much about Rock this week. So I decided a good match for Rock would be uh, Cold Stone. Strap him on. Corner post must have done damage. And Stone Cold kicked the Rock out of the ring. Shane, Shane was rooting for Rock. A closed line while down. Rock put his arm out across Stone Cold. It was just a massive infusion. Stone Cold won the match. Cool. Can you verify we did not use AI to replace Granny? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.